Hey y'all, welcome back to Squatch TV. On this episode, we're back in the Bry's uh, cave here, and we're gonna, uh, I got Josh here, and he's going to go over a bunch of the new stuff, some of the new stuff, some of the old stuff, and just kind of show you what's going on around here in preps for the holidays. So kind of like what we did last year or the year before, uh, and just showing you some of the new stuff, because, you know, it is Thanksgiving next week, so it's time to get rolling. So, Without any further ado, we'll get the camera switched around. We'll get to it. Go. Hey guys, Josh Wolf from Bryce. Uh This is like take four, so. <laughs> I'm not making them laugh, I swear. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jim Robert here to talk about some new things that we uh, brought in for Thanksgiving it's, uh, next week. And then uh, we're also working on some stuff too for Christmas time. Uh, one of the things that we just brought in, we got the uh, turkey brine bucket. Uh, made in the USA and it doesn't have any chemical dyes in it. This is the natural color of plastic. So it is food grade designed just for uh, doing your turkey. And then we also just introduced in our brand new Bry's turkey brine. So this is my brother's recipe that he's used actually for 15 years. And if you went out and made it with just raw ingredients, bought the honey, bought the vegetables, and made it from scratch, you could spend upwards of $100 if you're using quality ingredients. It's amazing how quick you, you can get up to that $100 mark just getting stuff for brines and seasonings and stuff like that. Exactly, it adds up quick. <clears throat> so what we did is we, we basically had uh, Rainier Foods reverse engineer it, takes Chad's recipe, and make it into a dry brine to where all you have to do is add your liquid to it. Yeah. So, and instead of spending upwards of a hundred bucks, this is only 25 bucks for the member pricing. Nice. So instead of 30. And I'll be doing, uh, Josh is sending me home with some of this stuff so I can, I'm going to do a review at the house. You know how tight I am on reviews. So maybe I'll get to throw them on the bus, under the bus a little bit. We'll see. I'll probably do it just for fun. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so All right. Turkey cannon. These things are cool. Um, in 2018, this is when we brought these in. And uh, our family has a little turkey cook-off, and we'll have between three to seven turkeys at our family events. And there's 30 to 40 of us. In 18, I was the winner, and I used this cannon. Um, one of the most tender, juicy birds I've ever cooked in my entire life. And you can probably show them that picture. It's a dark picture, but that bird was burgundy, burgundy red. And That is a beautiful. It, it was beautiful bird so then in 19 i was lazy and i didn't use my turkey can okay and i didn't brine my bird long enough so i only brined it for about 22 hours and i still won the 19 cook off but i was critiquing myself saying i will never do that again <laughs> so yeah turkey can is a, a really nice feature and i usually brine my birds for at least 36 hours my brother always likes to do them for about 48 and then uh, this was our test turkey this year that Chad did, my brother, um, using the brine. And he spatchcocks his and lays them down flat. Which I was thinking about doing a spatchcock this year, but since we have, since I've seen this roaster thing, I'm going to try that first. Yeah. The turkey can. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's money. Yeah. I'm excited to try that out. So then, what else we got in here, Rob? We well, got you got some new goodies. Uh, you guys might be familiar with Killer Hogs. We got Malcolm Reed stuff in here now. And this stuff has been All on fire. All super good stuff, yeah, yeah. on fire. Yep. We, we do have some samplers. And I'll tell you what, the five pound bags have been selling like crazy. Have they? Yeah. People... Well, it's nice to not have to, you know, if you really, or occasionally I want to really crust something up. So I use a lot of seasoning. Yep. And I'll use a whole bottle of seasoning yep. sometimes so it's nice to have that much more seasoning absolutely yeah and then we got in the uh instant read thermometers too those are so handy so these are actually affordable i mean a lot of guys are using these for taking their temps you know yeah um but this is actually designed for the pizza oven green mountain makes it these are 25 bucks um if you want if you want a higher quality one we do have Thermoworks makes one too. Oh yeah. And this is a uh, food safety, food grade, but you know Thermoworks, these guys are at the top of their game. These are going to jump up to about seventy bucks. Yeah. 
So big difference. So, you know, you could try the $25 one. If you want the best, you go with the Thermaworks. And the nice thing I have found with those is like you said, the pizza oven, it works really good. Yes. But I also put my, my grill grates. I forgot where they were, but Let's people, people probably know what the heck I'm talking about. Well, we got a pile of them out here. They <laughs> yeah. just came in. So I, that's how I temp the top of my, uh, grill grates for when I'm searing off a steak. Uh, and I put my grill grates in the pizza oven, and you wouldn't believe how much better it sears in the pizza oven. Yeah. Pretty nice stuff, so. Super just a intense. Little... Super intense heat. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> pellets, too. By the way, we uh, got in all um, the Green Mountain pellets. They've been back ordered now for probably two to three months. And I'd say a bang for the buck, 28 pounds uh, for $14.99. It's definitely the cheapest pellet on the market right now. Yeah. And they've got some really good mixes. Texas blend, the Fruitwood blend, premium gold, apple blend. What's the biggest seller? Is it that Texas blend that's hard to keep in? Yes. Texas but by far is their number one seller. And that's got a nice blend of hickory, mesquite, and oak. Yeah. So if you like that more intense flavor, um, it's really good on beef. But my brother always uses Texas blend on his turkey. And his dark meat on his turkeys are always my favorite. White meat, not so much for me. Yeah. That's just my my preference. Yeah. I might have to, uh, I'll have to uh, talk to you after the video is done, figure out what pellet I'm going to use on the birds. Oh, yeah. We got, yeah. We got some good ones. And we just introduced, actually, a few more. We got a nice peach blend, too, which is nice. Yeah, got, I like peach. Yep, cherry pecan. The, uh, uh, you gave me a bag of that that red old hickory or something like that old that hickory. stuff is fantastic well, the color is amazing you get out of that yeah that is uh pure apple that was harvested right next to gettysburg an old orchard it was uh over 80 years old and they ground up the whole tree uh bark on uh actually the whole root system and all they clean the whole root system off wow ground them up it's it's the coloring on that stuff is phenomenal but once that's gone, it's gone. For old, good, right? Yeah, Old Hick got sold out uh, to Bear Mountain, so they're going to make them the Bear Mountain way, which is just a conglomerate. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what <clears throat> else we got here, Rob? I don't know. You got all sorts. There, there. How about them rotisseries? Those yeah. are new. I haven't seen those before. Yep. So with Green Mountain, we got all the new Prime Plus grills in. So Prime Plus is the newest model. And it's outfitted, well, we got this racking system in here, but it's outfitted with a light. And then it has these special little little knockouts for adding a rotisserie into the unit itself. So cool. Yeah, rotisserie chicken. I mean, come on. And right, when they came out with the primes at first, remember me and you had the conversation, why in God's name is there not a light inside this grill? Yeah, we did. So they must. we must not have been the only ones talking about that light. No, no, we passed it on though for sure. <clears throat> yeah. And then what they did on the new Prime Plus is to the, the GMGs, which is kind of neat, is they, they actually added it to where you could do the front folding shelf on these new ones. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So and we've all that. been doing that ourselves at home. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. nice to have that come standard. Well, what we, you and I, and a bunch of a bunch of other guys were doing was we were buying those stainless hinges, right? Yes. Well, they just they bought the same stainless hinge we've been using and then adapted it. So, yep. Yeah, it's very cool. We're always ahead of our time, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about you, Josh. <laughs> always giving them honest answers. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> What for is the, that? For the guys that have the Davy Crockett. So oh. That's, that's the portable. That's the portable guy. Look at that. We got in the new pizza oven for the Davy Crockett. Little self, self, uh, self-serve self pizza ovens, right? Yeah. Maybe a little two-person pizza in there. Yeah. Well, we got 12 inches across, maybe 11. Eh, something like Somewhere that. Somewhere around yeah. there. Yeah. But Pretty handy, though. Personal pan pizza. But like Rob was saying, too, is you... Use that pizza oven either, even for doing like ultimate nachos. You yeah. Can, uh, you can sear a steak on that thing. I mean, so very universal. You can do so much in that pizza oven that people don't think about. I would have never thought about it until I talked to you. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Good stuff. Pizza stones are finally back in stock too. Those have been those have been phenomenal. Uh, selling a lot of those. Nice. And then. Oh yeah. We got in some competition barbecue sets. Victorinox. I've been bugging him for two, three years now about Victorinox. He beat me down. I finally brought him in. <laughs> <laughs> 
So cool little kits comes with the carrying bag and like I've been talking with customers about, it's something that's easy just to grab and go, especially if you're going somewhere to a friend's house. Um, or it's just one thing to have in your drawer. Yes. Where you know where everything's at. Yes. And you're not chasing your tail. And it looks like they got a number of different models. Is that, is this really red? Yeah, that's red. Oh, that's kind of cool. You got a red model. Yep. Uh, different knife sets. You know how much I've pimped out my Victorinox slicer on Squatch TV. Well, I'm sure the rest of their knives are going to be bombed too, so. So this is coming up to be one of the top sellers is this peach. This peach. People have been begging for this, and we finally got it back in. So that's yeah. back in stock. It's great with fish, uh, pork. Probably great with everything. I've used it a little bit to cold smoke salt. Uh, I like peach. It's, it's just a real light fruit flavor to it. Very good stuff. Then we got in also Jim Beam. This is the retired barrels that uh, Jim Beam uh, doesn't press the whiskey out of to make the devil's cut. So the devil's cut is the, the actual whiskey that's stored in the oak and they press it out. Yeah. Um, but they have so many barrels that they retire that they they have too many so old hick got the contract to go up there and basically get all the old retired barrels they debanded them put them into the staves they stacked up the lids they put it on a rail car and sent it up to the uh, factory and then when he was grinding it he goes josh i could have put a mason jar underneath the grinder and captured whiskey coming out of this wood <laughs> so it was too wet to press into a pellet so what he did is he mixed dry white oak with the wet whiskey oak to yeah. keep the flavor and that is a fun pellet. I can't wait to, I got a bag the last time I was here and I haven't used it yet. So I'm looking forward to busting into that too. Well, you know, Jim Beam and Jack Daniels, you know, they've never got together, right? Or, or got along. Yeah. Well, I blended them in my hopper. That, that's what's in my hopper right now. A blend of Jack <laughs> and Jim. Jack and Jim. Nice. Yeah, it's good. Nice. It's got some good flavor to it. That's awesome. Um. Hey, I'll interrupt here real yeah, quick. The, uh. He's also got the Finex cast iron. This stuff is fantastic cast iron. So just to throw that out there real quick. The Broil King, you saw me do the big McRib sandwich at home doing my baby back ribs in the Broil King. That thing works fantastic. Uh, I'm going to do another video shortly on that. Hopefully between Thanksgiving and Christmas where I'm going to do a smoked uh, loose lasagna in it and see how that turns out. So, all right. Okay, so then we got back in the ultimate ultimate barbecue grilling glove. I was just using these things last night, um, handling some chickens that I was doing on the grill. And they've got the grip, nice grip on them. Comes with a nice little basting brush. I've got large and then for squash size, extra large <laughs> here. <laughs> no, hey, don't take offense to that. I'm going to take offense. <laughs> It's my last feeling. It's just beat up, man. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep it. And then uh, I was down. I was down in uh, Florida visiting, and it was amazing. All the barbecue I had down there, they cooked it all with orange wood. So we were able to find from Barbecuers Delight some orange pellets, which work really good in the cold smoking devices yes. too. So I used. Josh had some of these. Some of these uh, little packs couple of years ago and he gave me a half a dozen of them to try try out so i cold smoked some salmon before i cooked it off just a just a half uh filet of salmon and i'll tell you what that orange flavor is probably it's a better flavor than i've gotten out of any pellet because let's let's uh you know let's be honest with ourselves you're not getting a ton of flavor out of the pellets but you do get some that orange stuff really hit the palate nice so yeah it's something new that we're not maybe used to yeah that's all they use down south yeah um so that's exciting and then also we do have a savory herb one that would be really good for thanksgiving too oh yeah you've got oregano rosemary and thyme mixed in with a uh, oak wood white oak so. and all of these little pellets like this kind of thing are great for smoking salts and spices and Yep. Uh, if you haven't done that, hit me up. I'll, I'll tell you how to smoke salts and yeah. Well, I think that's the, the gist we do, of do, it. 
Did we run out of stuff to talk about? No, we got the we got the bees, the bees turkey, Brian. Oh yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. That one came in also. So this is just your classic Brian, um, but he's he says it's good for pork, poultry, seafood, everything. Nice. But this is a really good Brian. I've got a few customers that um, have already got some of these. They've done it. They loved it. But it's your basic brine of uh, sugar and salt, brown sugar and salt. Um, it's perfect for, because, you know, when you were, if you can remember this far back on me too, but when we were first starting to use brines on different meats, yeah. well, it was a little nerve wracking. You know, what am I using in this brine? Because people say, oh, if you use too much salt, you're going to screw it up. Or if you do this, you're going to screw it up. And it's really not that difficult if you just calm down and figure it out. I mean, the biggest thing with the brine, in my opinion, is rinsing. Yeah. Yep, you rinse it all off. And like you were saying, time in the brine. A lot of people only go eight to 10 hours, and I'm definitely a 24-hour brine guy on my Thanksgiving turkey, but I'm gonna bump it to 48 now, just to see how it works out. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> the big winner, winner here. Truth. Yeah. <laughs> So what else we we got? Looks like we got some board butter here. Yep. That's good stuff to put on your cutting boards. All the Epicurean cutting boards, those things are US built. Um, we've got the Bees Rubs Complete Kits. That's the brunt, that is actually the recipe that you have to make. Um, yeah, instead of it already being mixed. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Who wants to make it when you can buy a mix? I mean, let's all, you know, we're busy enough on Thanksgiving cooking everything. Anything that brides can do to make it easier for us is a plus was that a plug that was oh jesus i love you man i love you man <laughs> <laughs> yeah i am not putting that on yeah, video don't show it <laughs> for the guys also one last thing too is uh the guys that want a hard copy don't like per se looking on the phone uh this this cool smoke <clears throat> By Tuffy Stone, not Rob Tuffy, but Tuffy Stone. Yeah, if he spelled that different, I'd like him, but he's pretty much insulting me. I'm offended. <laughs> yeah. This is a really cool book that has really good pictures, step-by-step -step instructions. Um, really, it makes it easy. And then you can just lay it on the counter and, and do the recipe instead of timing out on your phone. So. And that's also, I don't know how it is in your house, but in my house, when we got people over for Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter or whatever everybody's always into my cookbooks looking through different recipes you know because they get tired of talking to me because i'm kind of an asshole but <laughs> anyway yeah that's a good book to have uh any of them books are good really so well, thanks thanks for coming in today squatch and, absolutely uh, to everybody out there have a happy thanksgiving be safe and be good awesome hey thanks a lot mr wolf come on down to bry's they got everything you could possibly imagine and just miles of stuff. So at the end of this video, I'm just going to do a slow walk around. I won't be talking or anything just to show you, uh, try to get everything into the video. All right, guys, have a great, uh, what's today? Somebody tell me what the day Wednesday. is. It's a Wednesday. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And as always, and even better tomorrow, Squatch out. Okay, so still down here at Bride's, they carry the full selection of wild gear. They got these great wild cups and the great coolers. So I just wanted to show you that and then we'll come back here into the, I'll show you, try to get you everything I can. Lots of grill grates, if you haven't used them, check them out, YouTube them, ask me if you'd like, I'd be happy to tell you about them. Lots of pizza ovens, lots of brine buckets, stock pots and burners, <clears throat> a few different uh, grills. You know, they still run the good Traegers here and the Tech Infrared. Great stuff. Rectex, their latest stuff. Love the Rectex. <clears throat> but they got lots of great Broil King. This is a great store if you've never been here. So let's just go through. Got lots of Rainier seasoning, lots of Traeger stuff and John Henry's. Local guys out of Marysville. Of course, Hutch's barbecue sauce. If you haven't tried that, you're definitely missing out. They just won some awards, Hutch's. More Traeger. Uh, I think Josh touched on it, the Bees Classic Brine. 
John Henry's and more Rainier seasoning. <clears throat> and here's the Bees Rubs section. And if you have, I have not found a rub from Bees that I didn't enjoy. The popular one at my house seems to be the Rough Cut and the Gnarly Garlic. I am a sucker for the hooked on seafood. Just that alone on salmon is amazing. And then we made some tacos the last time we did tacos. We used the carne asada rub. Oh my lord, that was good. Good stuff. So lots of GMG rubs, different stuff, killer hogs, <coughs> corned beef brine mixes, pastrami brine mixes, fire starters, the whole line of Thermoworks. If you're familiar with their stuff, it's really great stuff. So really just just a little bit of everything. If you ever seen one of these, <laughs> it looks a little gimmicky. It's a little, it's a little uh, grill cleaner. I think I did a video on it, and that's the end on it. You'd be amazed at how well this thing works. That was a surprise, so that's a good one. Lots of spatulas, like Josh said earlier. He's got the Victorinox knives now. <clears throat> Very cool. Dutch oven camp chef stuff. <coughs> yeah, great stuff. Just so much stuff. It's hard to get it all into a video. Lots of great books. <coughs> Seasonings and the pellets. Here, I'll do the pellets last so I can try to get everything else going in here. A great Yoder smoker there. The new GMGs, we kind of went over that, and the rotisseries, <clears throat> lights and cleaners and buckets and pads, pizza ovens, pizza slicers. <clears throat> yep, just a little bit of everything. And lots of good stuff. Uh, a couple of different pizza peels. <laughs> Look at this thing, this thing's awesome. So a little flashlight there. So you can see in the dark, right? <laughs> oh, gimmicky, but pretty cool. <clears throat> Lots of uh, GMG igniters and switches and stuff like that. So if you ever go down, fans, you know, that helps out. Traeger stuff. Lots of Camp Chef stuff. Of course, your foil pans. <clears throat> I've done reviews on a lot of this stuff. It's got a lot of Traeger stuff. <clears throat> what was that? Wait, a big torch? Little pressurized growlers. Oh. Ash bucket liners. Of course, you got your Traeger hats. These are a pretty okay, yeah. uh, new grills that they've so started on, designing. It's these back, camp it's chefs. My, it's on my back porch. They're really turning out players. nice. <laughs> <clears throat> and he's got little so gift baskets. Great little gift you know baskets with a with a assortment of stuff. Back and Grill you'll covers. You'll see it on the shelf uh, over by my back. <clears> All right, cool. And then pellets, they shake, got the shake it, make sure there's a Traeger pellets, of course. Then they got all these GMG pellets. Past, past that, I don't, you'd have to swing in. Tons of lumberjack through, pellets. Yeah. Okay. And this is that uh, apple uh, old hick smoke. That was the good stuff that I was talking about. Left that cherry uh, color on there. Those are those bourbon pellets that Josh talked about. Jack Daniels and some more Lumberjack, some Traeger pellets, <clears throat> and the Barbecue Delight. They got peach and a pecan cherry mixed with oak. Master your beef. More of the Lumberjacks. <clears throat> and yeah, and even uh, Bees Rubs got these cool little uh, box sets. Very cool gifts for Christmas or for yourself. Who doesn't like buying the, 
yourself a Christmas gift. So there you go. Just thought I'd show you all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. All right. How's it going, guys? Josh Wolf calling. <laughs> yeah.